Adair, we are group nine of the business and culture class. My name is Seda Iskam. I'm 20 years old. I was born and raised in Belgium, but I'm originally Turkish. I speak Dutch, French, English, and Turkish. As you can see, our group is very diverse. We are all from different cultures, from Africa to Europe, all the way to Asia. When we started off, we were looking at group members with unfamiliar surnames in our own culture. Considering that, we were able to have members from Congo, Albania, Morocco, Syria, and Turkey. So, uh, I am Livia and I'm originally from Albania. I was raised in Greece and I lived for five years in Belgium. I speak four languages, uh, Albanian, Greek, um, Netherlands and English. Uh, my name is Faya. I'm born in Syria but I'm uh, raised in Belgium. I'm 22 years old and I speak also four languages. I speak Dutch, French, English and Arabic. My name is Dalia. I'm 20 years old and I'm born in Belgium and I'm Congolese. Uh, I speak French, Dutch, Lingala, German, and a little bit of Spanish. So, hi, I'm Yasmin, I'm 20 years old. I'm Moroccan, but I was born and raised in Belgium, and I can speak five languages. So, mm -hmm. We were asked to prepare a video presentation, and we chose the topic, the challenges of providing mental health services when the service providers are from a different culture than their clients. As you can see, our group is very diverse. We are all from different cultures, from Africa to Europe, all the way to Asia. When we started off, we were looking at group members with unfamiliar surnames in our own culture. Considering that, we were able to have members from Congo, Albania, Morocco, Syria, and Turkey. When we think about the meaning of culture, we can think about different languages, different clothes, uh, and so on. But these are things that people can see and understand. Culture goes deeper than that. When it comes to mental health, um, different cultural groups bring, they bring their own beliefs, their own traditions, but it may sound simple because professionals should just practice uh, equally their work on different people. But when it comes to people with a different, with a different cultural background, it may uh, bring some implication. And in this paper, we will talk about the implication it can bring. Diversity and multiculturalism has increased enormously in the recent years. This is due to globalization and many migration flows. This is why it's also very important for mental health workers to meet cultural competences. Um, but this is a problem for many refugee groups. They often come from countries that are very religious and in their culture or in their religion, Mental health issues are often attributed to the village spirits. Also, there is a very huge taboo among them uh, about uh, mental health and they consider mental health as an um, invention of the Western world. Many of these people also have enormous frustrations due to, for example, wars, domestic violence, cultural pressure, poverty, and etc. Uh, and all the bad situations that they experience in their home country. So one of the challenges for mental health care workers is trying to understand their religious background and um, taking into account all the traumas that these people carry on with them without really realizing it. Culture influences whether you look for help, the sort of help you're looking for, and the support you get. Hispanic, uh, African, and uh, Asian populations reported the most reduced rates of having a customer specialist. Mostly, when such individuals seek mental health services, they are at an acute stage of illness, and this delay can result in an untreated illness. Cultural, uh, cultural barriers that from receiving appropriate care include mistrust and fear of treatment, alternative ideas about that illness and health, uh, language barriers and ineffective communication, and also a lack of diversity in the mental uh, health uh, workforce. As you can see, our group is very diverse. We are all from different cultures, from Africa to Europe, all the way to Asia. When we started off, we were looking at group members with unfamiliar surnames in our own culture. Considering that, we were able to have members from Congo, Albania, Morocco, Syria, and Turkey.